Wearables have come a long way. Today, I'm reviewing three of the most talked about health trackers on the market. The Hume Band, the Amaze Fit Bit 6, as well as the Whoop Band. I wore all three for several days during workouts, while sleeping, and just living everyday life. And let's just say they each come with very different strengths. So which one is worth your money? Let's find out. Before I start, a quick heads up. I've got exclusive discount codes for all three wearable tech pieces featured in this video. Just check the description below or scan the QR codes that you see on screen to grab the best deals available right now. All right, so right in front of me, I have the Hume Band, the Whoop Band, and as well as the Amaze Fit BIP 6. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and unbox each one and show you what each one comes with. Let's go ahead and start off with the Hume Band first. When we open it up right here, what it looks like is right up front, the Hume Band, live longer, better. Go ahead and pop this out. This looks like the actual piece of tech itself. Here we have a little quick start guide with a scannable QR code. Next, we have the super knit strap, which is gonna hold the actual piece of tech, the actual device on your wrist. And let's go ahead and take this out and see how this feels. Now this has a very nice knitted texture. As you can see, there's some pull for it depending on your wrist size, and it does strap in via Velcro. And yes, here's the charger. So it seems as if, let's put this to the side, that the device comes on and off the actual wrist strap itself charge it by putting it in the device and this plugs in via USB-C. Now the initial feel of the device itself is very lightweight. It has this really nice matte sort of metal finish going on. There's no screen, uh, no, maybe there's some indicator lights, you know, underneath that'll activate once it's actually on and charged. And at the bottom here, we have different sensors that they are gonna use to actually track your body's metrics. Next up, the Whoop Band. Again, very minimal packaging, which I can enjoy and appreciate. So let's go ahead and get this open. Now we have this little capsule, which if we open up, okay, right away, we see all the components that we need. Okay, so right away, we have the Whoop Band the sensor along with the strap, and they're already connected, unlike the Hume Band, which you have to uh, strap it on there yourself. Right under here, we have a charging cable, USB-C to USB-C. And this right here seems to be the on-wrist battery charger that comes with the Whoop Band. All right, so on the actual band itself, which feels a little bit more rugged than the Hume Band, it's not as stretchy, it has more tension, but we do have a little tab here with an arrow. I'm assuming it's gonna mean pull up. Yep, and that's gonna unclasp the band itself. That's tied to the sensor right there. Then I assume it's gonna slide on and it's gonna clasp down just like that. Pretty snug fit. Now design-wise, again, very nice. There's no screen, just like the Hume Band, which I appreciate, very minimalist look. It's gonna sort of disappear. You know, and I wear a lot of black anyway, so it's gonna fit in with me very, very nicely. I just wanna see how this on-wrist battery charger is supposed to work. This is supposed to wake up the device, and it seems like we just sort of slide it on there, clamps in really nice. Now we have some sensors turned on, and now it's officially woken up. So then I'm assuming the USB-C is gonna go into here, and then you plug this in, and now you are charging your device. And then once it's charged, slips right back off just like that, and then this goes back on your wrist. Now let's move on to unboxing the Amaze Fit Bit 6. All right, let's see what we got here. Right up front, of course, we have the Amaze Fit Bit 6. We have a little sticker on here to cover up the screen. And this is a full AMOLED screen display. As you can see, this is roughly what it's gonna look like, but I'll show you in real life here in just a few minutes. So this whole thing pops out here, not much else in there. Unstrapping it and pulling it up from the top there. Now this is a noticeably larger, sort of more aware piece of tech. This is letting you know that it's on its wrist. What I appreciate about the Hume Band and the Woot Band is that it feels very minimal. This does not. Also, this strap 
is like a silicone stretchy sort of sporty strap maybe something that you would see like with the um apple watches and the sport bands feels very snugged feels very nice again big screen very noticeable as you can tell stands out might be a conversation piece and most people might probably think that this is just an apple watch just to begin with so here we have some documentation per usual and then on the side here this looks like and that's all we get this looks like a uh, magnetic uh, charging dock for the watch again similar to most smart watches I assume it would just sit right on top and it snaps into place with a magnet and no USB-C cable provided, um, just the charger, but it does charge via USB-C. Now here's what the back of the product looks like where they have all the sensors. We have a couple buttons on the side here, nothing at the top or the bottom. It's a pretty minimal sleek design. I will say it does look very nice. How the piece of tech looks and feels is one thing, very important, yes. But the app, uh, what you're actually gonna be using to see your body's metrics, to read your body's health, is, in my opinion, a little bit more important than the hardware itself. So the software is gonna play a big, big role into this. Let's now talk design. Starting with the Hume Band. This one's as minimal as it gets. There's no screen, and the idea is to keep me focused on my life, not my wrist, which I can appreciate. And the Super Knit Band feels light, soft, and breathable. I've worn it for days out of time, even through sleep, and it stays comfortable the entire time I have it on. I often forget that it's actually on my wrist. It's IP68 rated, which means water resistant up to 10 meters for two hours. Inside, the piece of tech itself uses five LEDs, four photodiodes for continuous biometric tracking, the same class of sensors found in higher end wearables. And battery life on this thing is solid, about five to seven days per charge, and it tops up quickly in around 20 to 80 minutes. Connectivity is Bluetooth low energy, and firmware updates are done automatically through the Hume app. If you're watching this for a Hume band review or curious about what the Hume Health Band really delivers in form, and function, it's all about passive longevity tracking and a distraction-free design. Now let's take a look at the Whoop Band. Again, no screen here either. It's designed to disappear on my wrist while quietly capturing data 24-7. The Whoop Band I'm wearing here uses a super knit strap, but they also offer other options like Leather Lux if I want something a little bit dressier. It's water resistant up to 10 meters, and just like Hume, it uses five LEDs and four photodiodes for accurate sensing. Now as for battery life, this thing keeps going for over 14 days. And the coolest part is the on-wrist battery pack. I just slide it on to charge while wearing it. If you're researching a Whoop Band review, this device stands out for performance athletes. It's not flashy, but it's built for consistency and depth. Now last up, the Amazfit BIP6. If I want a full smartwatch experience, this is it. The 1.97 inch AMOLED screen is bright, crisp and surprisingly responsive even under bright sunlight. This is the one I'll actually see things on and it does feel fine on the wrist thanks to the aluminum alloy frame and liquid silicone strap, which I will admit is a little hard to put on and it does need to be really snug, but once it's on, it's on. It's water resistant up to 50 meters, so no problem with swimming or heavy sweat, and it also includes built-in GPS, physical buttons on one side, and touchscreen navigation. Battery life is solid, it hits around 14 days of typical use and up to 6 days with heavy tracking. If you're after an Amazfit BIP6 review or you're comparing the BIP6 to high-end trackers, this one does pack a lot for its price point. Now it's time to pair each of the bands to their own respective app, starting with the Hume band. So on my phone here, I have the Hume, the Whoop, and the Zep app already downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and open up Hume. At the very bottom in the middle, you can see there's an icon called Band. I'm gonna click on that, and I'm gonna hit Begin Band Setup. I took it off my wrist just to make it easier to do it on camera for you, but I'm pressing and holding the power button. I'm gonna hit OK, let's find my band. And there we go, Hume Band popped right up within less than a second. Let me hit Pair. You're all set, now let's see what your band has to say. Let me hit Continue. Day one, Strain and Sleep. Day two, cardiovascular health score. Day five, metabolic capacity and my day feature. Day seven, metabolic momentum. So it's given me a plan in terms of the first week with the band and what it's gonna be recording and what data it's gonna be collecting to get to know my body, which is really nice. 
and now I'm ready to start wearing it and start collecting data. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Whoop app on my phone and let's see how this pairing process goes. A blinking blue light on your Whoop means it's ready to pair with the app. I'm gonna hit start pairing, choose a device. It popped right up, immediately it was there. Click on Whoop, pair, Whoop connected. And here we go, the process is complete. The actual syncing and pairing process of the Whoop band to the app was fast and pretty much instantaneous and very easy to follow and very easy to understand like with the visual uh, sort of instructions that I mentioned earlier. Now we are in the app and I will say that a subscription is required up front. You can't access any features without activating a plan and I personally opted for the peak membership but there are three different memberships to choose from. So for the Amazfit BIP6, you're gonna wanna download the Zep app, which I have here on my phone. Let's go ahead and open that up. So I open up the app and there's a section there that says connect your device. I'm gonna hit add. I have the watch. Please point the camera at the QR code displayed on the device screen. A QR code popped up. I'm gonna go ahead and hold my phone up to it just like that. It took about a quarter of a second and it read the QR code. It's connecting the, to the device. I think I have to click something here, but it's upside down. Amazfit BIP6 will be paired with the Zep app. Tap the check mark. Yes. Pairing, pair successfully. Select button position. Select the button side based on how you wear your watch. Button on the right, the button's on the left. So now, did that just change it? Yeah, now it changed it. Okay, cool. So now it basically allowed me to switch the orientation of the screen so I didn't have to take the watch off and flip it. Now it's giving me sort of a tutorial on how to use the watch. So swipe down to view the control center, swipe left or right to view the widget and shortcut cards. Press the long press upper button on the watch face to open the app list. That doesn't make too much sense. I think it means long press the upper button to open the app list, which is correct and which is what it meant. There we go. Welcome Amazfit BIP6. The device is ready. Done. The pairing process on that was the longest one out of the other two, but it wasn't confusing or complicated. It walked me through the process and it was very, very simple. Um, again, I'm not a big watch fan, especially a smartwatch fan. I already prefer the Whoop and the Hume over this. Now in terms of app design, at least upon my first impressions, the Hume app felt the most minimal and clean with their design, which I personally love. The Whoop app, as I already mentioned, felt a little bit more, like it had more coaching depth to it, which I can appreciate. And the Zep app felt like you could just customize the heck out of this thing. Lots of customizable options, which I can appreciate because that means there's a lot to play with, especially since you have a big screen on your wrist, you want it to look how you want it to look. So I can appreciate that for sure. Now let's get into the part that really matters, health and fitness tracking, because all three of these devices take a very different approach. Starting with the Hume Band, which is part of the broader Hume Health ecosystem. This wearable doesn't just track, it interprets. It gives me metabolic capacity score, which tells me how efficiently my body produces energy and recovers. Then there's the metabolic momentum, which shows whether my habits are helping me slow aging or accidentally speeding it up. It also provides an overall health score, combining sleep, recovery, and stress signals to give me a snapshot of my wellness trajectory. What really stands out is its ability to flag potential early signs of chronic illness, using heart rate variability, temperature, and sleep patterns as early indicators. It monitors stress trends, immune strain, and recovery quality, all passively in the background. All the insights are available in the free Hume Health app with optional premium upgrades if I want personalized coaching. Personally, I found this coaching feature quite nice to balance my workouts, but I don't think it's mandatory to get good value from this device. Now let's get back to the Whoop band. Uh, with Whoop, I decided to go with the Peak membership, mainly because I wanted to unlock everything it offers, especially the stress monitoring, health span tracking, and the predictive pace of aging score. If I'm just using the base tier, I'll still get solid recovery and strain data, but I was curious how far I could push the insights. Now with the peak subscription, I get 24 seven tracking of heart rate, HRV, 
skin temperature, SpO2, and respiratory rate. That data powers two major scores. First, my strain score, which quantifies total cardiovascular load, not just from workouts, but also from things like poor sleep, long work days, or mental stress. And second, my recovery score, which tells me how ready my body is to take on more. It really helped me avoid overtraining on days when I felt fine mentally, but my biometrics told me a different story. Sleep is another big one here. Whoop tracks every stage, from light sleep to REM sleep, and it gives me recommendations through its built-in sleep coach. There's also a stress monitor that provides real-time feedback and guided breath work, which is really nice. Another thing to note, Whoop doesn't offer access to ECG or blood pressure features. Those are locked into the higher life tier, but if I'm focused on performance, Peak gives me plenty. And now the Amazfit BIP6, which honestly packs in more than I'd expect at this price point. It tracks all the basics, heart rate, HRV, SpO2, stress, breathing rate, sleep stages, and cycle tracking. For fitness lovers, such as myself, I get 140 plus activity modes and it can auto-recognize 25 strength exercises in the gym. It also includes Zep Coach, which offers AI-guided workout plans and even marathon training programs from 3K to 42K. I've got a one-tap measurement tool that gives me four health metrics in under a minute, and I personally love using that feature. There's also a readiness score, detailed sleep breathing analysis, PAI scoring, and nap detection. Honestly, it's hard to beat this level of depth if I'm after maximum features on a budget. So how about my personal options and preferences? After wearing all three, here are my honest takes. The Amazfit BIP6 offers incredible value, great display, built-in GPS, and tons of workout modes. The strap that mine came with is not my favorite, but it's not a deal breaker for me. So if you're looking for a budget-friendly smartwatch with fitness tools, this is a solid choice. Now, the Whoop Band delivers unmatched depth for athletes. Its recovery and strain tracking are top notch, but it does require a subscription and focuses more on performance than prevention, but the data and insights it gives you are jam-packed, easy to navigate, and personally, this had my favorite app experience out of the three. And now, to me, personally, the Hume Band stands out. Its focus on long-term health, metabolic performance, and early warning signs really sets it apart. I'm not just looking to track workouts, I want to optimize how I age, how I recover, and how I feel over time. But that's why Hume Health is my personal pick. It's more than any other wearable tech. It's an investment into my future health. And as I age, that means more and more to me. And you can't beat the fact that there's no subscription to get your health insights. I've got exclusive discount codes for all three wearable tech pieces featured in this video. Just check the description below or scan the QR codes that you see on screen to grab the best deals available right now. If you found this video helpful, check out our other health tech reviews right here on the Health News channel. We've tested everything from smart rings to red light masks. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you never miss a new review drop. My name is Steven. This is the Health News channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.